Hey there folks, welcome to day 80. Day 80 of the Camper 5 build. Yeah, it's coming along piece by piece. I actually had a couple of, I don't want to call them keyboard warriors, but a couple of people contact me and complain. Well, not actually complain, ask me, you know, why is it taking so long? It should be built already and a few other things. Well, first of all, thank you for your views. But secondly, unless you have like super deep pockets and a zillion people, doing things in life, there's you really only have three choices. You can do it well, you can do it cheap, or you can do it fast. I've chosen the well and the cheapish mode uh, of doing things. If you want to do it fast and cheap, you can imagine what kind of end product you're going to have. If you want to do it fast and well, well, buddy, you better have some pretty deep pockets there to fund such a project. So anyway, uh, for those who contacted me, please continue viewing. I uh, appreciate your comments. Uh, it gives me something to talk about here in addition to the camper pod. But uh, anyway, enough of that. Today, uh, we're going to start with finishing this wall right here. Um and we'll see where it goes from there. And another pretty nice square edge. Let's see now, I do have a couple of screws up in the corner and one down there, so it may not fit perfectly in the corners. Okay. I think that fits rather well. I'm gonna pop those, take those screws out there now and put them back in into this piece. There's room in here in the corner, so it's not tight. And it fits well down there that you can't. No, I'll take it down. So it fits well. See up there. You got a little bit of a, a gap between this piece and that piece, which is fine. And it fits down here in the corner. And right across there. And nice and flush right up along this edge. With a couple of screws in it. That's what it kind of looks like. Well, actually, that's what it does look like. I'm going to do this corner. Now, this corner is only going down as far as, like, where my toe is. But I still got to cut it uh, that full length. I was hoping it would be less than 36 inches, but it's not. So, I'm going to have to cut a full 36-inch piece and do some wrapping and that sort of stuff. go another piece installed now the next piece is going to be here so after having a discussion with the boss this is uh, actually going to be in two pieces one piece up here and one piece down there because we do have a piece to uh, a piece of aluminum right there that will actually fit in the lower section and I'm gonna to have to take down the cabinet here and uh, those that notches that I have there I'm gonna to have to cut that out to make a little groove so I can run the wires out through into the cabinets. With the cabinet out of the way, it's time to install these two pieces. Um, the wire is coming through the cabinet, 
right there. So I've got to measure the first piece um, to see where I'm going to drill a hole so the wire can come through. So I did have to uh, notch, notch the base of the cabinet right there, as you can see, and also put in another horizontal piece just above the brace so that I'd still have some integrity just in case that compromised it. I'm uh, snipping out here for the uh, for the electrical hole, if I can call it that. And we're done. Do a little overlap here. The majority of the overlap, except for maybe four inches, will be covered by the cupboard itself. Started to pre-drill the holes because sometimes these truss head screws would not go in as easy, but this makes it a lot easier. I wish I had a magnetic tip on my uh, on my screwdriver, make it a little easier to uh, to hold the truss head screws. Stay. So. This still might come down again in the future, but for now, okay. Grab the screwdriver. Okay. So that's back up in place. Oh, I got a wire stuck underneath. <laughs> Knit that down a little bit to get the wire. Okay, there we go. Okay. And this wire, as you see, I've, I've taped it off good to protect it uh, inside the wall. This is going to be for the lighting underneath the cabinet. You may remember, this was the very first piece that I installed in the camper pod. And we let it overhang like that just in case we had enough so that we could tuck some underneath because this is where the kitchen sink is going to be so just in case any water got in here it would flow down to the floor so we do have a strip this is a little bit longer than necessary but it'll work um, i just need to cut it to length throw a couple of tabs on it and then shimmy it up underneath should come to about somewhere around right there it would be okay if it was right there but you know if I cut a strip that much where am I going to use that probably nowhere well might as well just give you a quick tour of what we've got done we've got the roof okay this is the, the sort of the living area we've got this done roof Everything is temporarily held in place with screws and bits of tape. There will be corners and stuff going in and things attaching to the wall to hold it in place. Got that done. We have this sort of the other kitchen wall. Don't have this in here done yet. May wait on that. Here we have this, the uh, wet room area. Down to that height. Um, uh, phone, uh, phone light. It's going to be going in the lower section down here. 
and I've got to do this in aluminum, this corner right here. That's going to be next after I get that piece done. I had to do some little modification to the corner right in here to the tab because it was just a little tight. And this piece was just long enough for me to get a tab on one end and for it to fit in flush on the other end, the far end. need to do a little bit of modification up right here boy wasn't that a pain to get in um actually the, the peak getting it under was fine adjusting this corner that was the real pain in the butt for this section up here i think i'm going to come down as far as this so it has to be you know like at least that wide and the narrowest one I have in scrap is six inches and that's five. So that should be fine. Let me see. 30, 34 inches should be fine. So that's 34 inches at the break right there. And that'll come down there. Yep, it's 34 inches should work. Up over the door, done. The lower soffit in the closet. Yippee. And after a crazy amount of time later, that piece installed, I figure was just going to be like cut, cut, bend. Yeah, took a bit of time. Anyway, that piece is in. And this little piece in here was a little bit of a, I won't say complicated cut, but there was a, a number of things to take into consideration. Uh, including this here and a little bit of a um, notch to go over here. And there should fit according to all the numbers and the cuts. Ah, there we go. And that's a wrap for day 80 of the camper pod build. Long day today. Swapped out to a baseball cap again because it was getting kind of warm inside here when I was working on things. And when it gets warm and things aren't going well, you get frustrated. Anyway, so be it. Just a quick review of what I did. Just showing you around. Over on this side. And down to right here. So that was a pretty busy day for day 80. So we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, day 80 of the CamperPod build. And we'll see you in the next one.